It's Tuesday, November 7th, and just when you think Italian supercar maker Lamborghini can't top their latest insane mobile, they go a bit more insane. Well, maybe not actually. Check out the Terzo Millennio. Yeah, that's what we said when we first saw it too. If it looks like it's from a sci-fi future, and don't all Lambos look like they are, you're right, as it's a concept supercar and won't be hitting any dealerships anytime soon. Also, it's a full-on electric concept supercar. The Terzo was developed as a joint exercise with MIT to see how far Lamborghini could push electric car tech, and they pushed it pretty damn far indeed. Power and storage comes from a mass of carbon nanotube filled supercapacitors instead of old school batteries, and the carbon fiber bodywork can also store energy. The sleek bodywork can also heal itself to a certain degree if it's damaged. There's a motor in each wheel, and each rim has a series of coil-like displays, or LEDs or something, which would be illegal pretty much everywhere except in Concept Car City, where the Terzo currently resides. Sadly, this amazing thing isn't a runner. There may also be a small issue with ground clearance, but it does show that Lambo is looking toward a possible electric future after decades of making a long line of amazing petrol-powered wonder cars. So cool. Speaking of amazing substances, some smart folks over at Carnegie Mellon University have come up with what could be a revolutionary new metal alloy that could make future phones, tablets, and televisions truly bendable. Designed by the aptly named Soft Machine Lab at the school, researchers have come up with a metallic material that stays in liquid form at room temperature. Best thing about it, it's a good electrical conductor, so it could lead to super flexible circuit boards. Another key property, it's able to heal itself, sort of like that killer Lamborghini. And since it likes to be in a liquid state at normal temperatures, it doesn't need a lot of cooling or heating to work well. There's another metal that is liquid at room temperature, of course, mercury. But mercury is one of the most toxic materials on the planet, especially if it gets into your body. This new material is totally non-toxic, scientists say. Sounds like a winner to us. Hit the link for more information. In the increasingly sophisticated world of ultra-complex computers, there's one machine that still makes a lot of hardware geeks smile, and it is still selling in the millions. It's the diminutive Raspberry Pi, a $25 open-source PC that's at the heart of a million robotics competitions and millions more other fun projects. DT has taken a long look at the history around this perky little PC, which went from an obscure hobbyist device to a mass-market phenomenon in 2011. We've even used one to cobble together our own NES classic home build, which turned out pretty good. It's a great story of innovation, perseverance, and a lot of late nights after the inventor expected to sell a few thousand of the tiny computers and then got hit with over 100,000 pre-orders. Check out the whole story at the link, and be sure to check out Digital Trends for all the latest tech news, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel, and all of our podcasts are available on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.